You probably thought that we forfeit. I know you hope, but we quit. No way. We been on it. Yes. We still on it. Ow! We back with another project breakdown. I know we was just here last week, but this dropped this week, so we getting into it right now. You know we right here on. <laughs> I've been practicing that in my head. Practicing doing that without looking so you can see the glue in the tube. Anyway, make sure you hit that subscribe button right now. Shout out to Words, Illa. Shout out to Addison. And shout out to Dez. Y'all my sponsors from now on. So shout out to my sponsors. Like I said, Love Attraction dropped this week at the tip top of this week, Sunday. If you don't got it, go get it, stream it, download it. TikTok videos to it, put it behind your, your pictures and your photos or whatever you're doing. You know what I mean? You're going on the plane, go and put that fly away behind it. You know what I mean? You manifesting something, go and put that genie behind it. You're working out, go and put that letter to yourself, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. When you're at family parties, it's Thanksgiving. Make sure that family tree is playing behind the pictures that you post to your family. Beautiful family, beautiful song. They're going to match. Anyway, let's get into this bar breakdown. I mean, project breakdown. <laughs> Law of Attraction is actually my 13th solo project, but it's my second album. The second album where I had all original beats on the solo project, and it just so happened this is this is produced again by I Am Will. I love making music with I Am Will. I love the chemistry. When he send me beats, it's like the song is already there, and we're going to get into that in a minute. Shout out to I Am Will. <laughs> Minnie the Goat, a.k.a. Cara Tabers. Her stage name is Cara Tavers. Her engineer name is Minnie the Goat. Well, Minnie. Minnie on the boards. I'll call her the Goat. Best engineer that makes me. I mentioned how I met her. Go back to the glue tube and you can find out. But around about 2012 or 13, we were introduced through her apprentice, which was my engineer at the time. And me and her locked in and established a bond. She's like one of my best friends right now. She's like family to me. So shout out to Minnie. Moses Miller. Well, his name is Keenan, but he goes by Moses Miller. When I first met him, it was at a show the DJ Bree through, shout out bro, shout out to DJ Bree, and he just came up to me and was like, yo, I rock with you, I rock with your music, I shoot videos, like, you know, what, what can we do? And I told him, like, yo, I'm not in a good position right now, actually, this is the time when I was living in my car, and I didn't want to tell him, give him all that information, but I'm just like, yo, it's just a bad time for me, and he was like, look, man, I just do it, you know what I mean? I believe in you, let's just get it done. So, shout out to him, he actually shot Still On It as well, the intro song to Bluetooth. Yeah, he shot that as well. So shout out to uh, Moses Miller, who did the background singing on No Thanks Needed. And I'm speaking about Moses Miller. I got to mention on how instrumental he was in me deciding when to release his project. Um, I, you know, I came to him and told him that I, I felt I wasn't ready as a as a person yet. And he was just he was with me the whole time. You know, like, yeah, man, you know, get yourself right. Get your mind right. And. You know, I feel you on that. Take your time and release it. But he he heard every song probably two years before anybody else heard any track. Because like as soon as I laid it down, as soon as it was complete, he was the first the first person that I let hear it in its entirety. Great dude, great dude. Changed his life around. Went from you know secular music to music of God. I don't want to say Christian music. I'm gonna just say music music of God. Uh, no cursing. He's one of the people that also inspired me to rap without cursing because i'm like yo you can still be dope without cursing i linked them up with many so they should have some music coming soon he moved to hawaii so we haven't been in communication too much but yeah man uh keenan was very instrumental in the production of this project so shout out to keenan man many did uh the talking on closer don't she sound like a snack shout out to many for that other than that uh nobody else had hands on this on this project vocally We got Abstract Vision, who did the cover. He does all my artwork. This right here, this right here, any kind of merch you see me wearing, all of this, it's Abstract Vision. So, you know, if you want your graphics and your clothing designs and artwork and logos and all of that to be up to par, you probably should get an Abstract Vision. I, 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 I am Will. Shout out to I Am Will. Once again, he's the one who did the entire project, produced the entire project. Me and him used to write verses back and forth in class. Like he would, he would write a, a, a couple bars on the on the note, s slide it to me. I'll respond, slide it to him. We weren't necessarily battling, but just competing, just leveling up. Every time I sent something back, he sent something back hotter. Then I sent something back hotter. It was just like that. So, 
Shout out to him, man. I never knew he made beats back then. All I knew was he could rap, but he he barely talked. You know, he was a quiet dude. He stayed to himself. If he ain't rock with you, he not speaking to you. But I was one of the ones he talked to. And cool dude, man. You know what I mean? A lot of morals, a lot of principles. And like I say, not a pushover. He was just a quiet dude. But he produced this entire project. And I'm going to get into the names of the beats that he sent me. And you'll see how what I mean when I say this project was pretty much already written. Each song was already written as soon as I saw the title. So the track list is exactly how the beats were named. It's only two beats that were different. It's Family Tree, which the name of that beat was Father and Son. And then the Law of Attraction intro and interlude, which the name of that beat was King. Everything else, the beat was named exactly what it is. Better Days, Closer, They Said, the genie, letter to myself. So, like I said, it's something about that chemistry. It's something about the chemistry with I Am Will. And, I mean, you know, a lot of people producers name their beats and artists go with that. But it's like, what you name the beat, I see the same thing. I see the same. I'm not forcing it. I'm not naming it this because this is what you called it. Um, so, yeah, that's why I say writing with I Am Will, it's just different. And this is not how it always is. It's not always like this. I know, I believe you was entitled you, but... You know, other records, it's not always like that. Secondary shit was named something else. I think that was named something like uh, Rubber Grip or like Black Mask or something like that. But yeah, man, like I said, I get I get some, I get a pack from Iron Will. I'm looking at the titles like, okay, I know what it's probably going to be like. I know what it's probably going to be like. Shout out to Iron Will. As soon as I released No Matter What in 2019, which was towards the end of the year, I sent it to Iron Will. He replied with, 20 some beats. You know what I mean? And I went right to work. I didn't waste no time. I was still working with One Life on certain projects. I'm not, I think we was working on, probably was working on the gas chamber, honestly, and how to rap. And I just knocked out no matter what. Don't remember writing it. I don't remember none of that. I just remember it being done. I just remember, I remember. Cause I was getting hotel rooms. I would get a hotel room once a week just to relax. I remember when I got the hotel room, that once a week is when I would lock in. So I probably I probably spent about maybe four or five sessions writing LOA, and those were the days that I was that I was off. You know, get the telly, pull up that laptop, and I'm I'm going I'm I'm in. I'm I was locked in. I'm talking about nothing else mattered for real. Um, I would Facetime my daughter and my mom. It's a couple of friends too that I, you know, that I Facetime. I Facetime, get all my communication out, and after that, you know what I mean. Six o'clock over here, y'all shutting down over there anyway. It's nine o'clock over there, y'all shutting down, going in. So, like I said, I don't remember. You know, how sometimes you'll be writing a verse and you're like, oh yeah, I remember I put this in there because I saw this this car ride by, so I put this in there, or somebody that came in the door and I smelt this, so I thought about that. I don't remember none of that with this project, with this, any songs on this project. But uh, like I say, this project is like three years old as far as being scribed and it was fun and easy and I just wish I could remember what I was thinking or what I was doing when I wrote this I, I know my intentions behind the whole project were just to speak a better life instead of speaking destruction and death and negativity I figure I speak something positive and that will come to fruition which it is it's coming slowly but surely so job well done Another person that was super instrumental in the physical rollout was Kristen Ariane. That's my God kid's mother. Shout out to her. I told her what I wanted. She'd done the manifestation journals before. I said, look, here go the logo. This is what I want. Law of Attraction, manifestation journal on the front. The rest, you know, I think she might have had one or two questions, you know, and one of them might have been, how many pages you want? <laughs> Other than that, it was all on her. And I love it. I love it. People love it. Uh, shout out to Big V. Big V is one person that I know who, who consistently shows his progression and, you know, show how he's achieving his goals through writing them down. You know, he might not show you everything, but and that man got several journals, too. So shout out to Big V. Um, but yeah, Chris and Ariane was very instrumental in the rollout of this physical release. <laughs> the intro and the interlude was actually one track. But I cut it in half because I wanted to have a divide in the project. The beginning project, I'm letting you know about me. And then I get into the manifesting. I feel like after hearing my previous music, if you were to hear 
the second half of the project, you'll be like, yo, he's a hypocrite. Because he's talking about all of this stuff that I don't see him with right now. And I was, I'm always been big on keeping it real. So the things that I'm speaking about on the latter part of the project are things I'm manifesting. And as you hear me explain who I am and, you know, you learn more about me at the beginning part of the project, it'll make more sense. Also, if you notice on No Matter What, go back and check that out. The intro and the outro are the same beat as well. I didn't rap on the intro, though, but I rapped on the outro. So I kind of I always like that thing, how rappers do that. You might hear a beat throughout the project. It might be like on track uh, two, six, and, 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 and nine. And then on track 14, they actually rap on it. I always love stuff like that. So I wanted to keep that, um, you know, that theme going with the project since we did it with I Am Will on the last one. Except on this one, like I say, I'm just rapping on it. So you heard the beat twice, different lyrics each time you heard it. Said I was thugging, I must have been bugging, I was living backwards The charges and cases and lawyers I paid was a cause of my actions Law of Attraction, I'm teaching Law of Attraction Your words and your thoughts plus your actions could lead to horrible madness Running with dealers and shooters who may or may not have to shoot a few Caught between law and the war had me visiting homies in prisons and funerals Law of Attraction, that was the Law of Attraction what I did not want to happen, that was the law of attraction Now I'm running with thinkers and builders Ain't worried about swillers and affidavits We wake up ambitious to affirmations That we bout to link on some millions Law of attraction, I'm working law of attraction I think it, I want it, I have it Told you it's law of attraction Never worry, got a lot of faith What I want is just a thought away I'm so close to negativity Consider me a bank on a holiday Law of attraction This one is law of attraction I'm manifesting my destiny This one is law of attraction The first song on the record is about my family And they mean the world to me It's as simple as that My mom, my siblings, my dad uh, I even mentioned my nieces and nephews I didn't mention my cousins and my aunts and uncles So I'm going to have to revisit this record I was telling my cousin the other day Got to revisit this record and, and spice it up a little bit You know what I mean? So I, I got great nieces and nephews that weren't born when I wrote this. So, yeah, this just one of them records that might be due for a remix. But like I say, family tree. Um, and one of the most important lines I said in this in this record was, "This family tree might lose branches, but this this tree will never fall." Man, you know what I mean? Um, and that's how I feel about it, yo. We 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 taking some major losses, but we standing strong as long as we stick together. We deeply rooted. <laughs> Sir, mama raised the king. Yes, ma'am. Four siblings total. Let's go. Give me all the love I need. All the love I need. All the love I need. Give me all the love I need. All the love I need. All the love I need. Give me all the love I need. Let's go. Papa had a prince. Yes, sir. Mama raised the king. I wrote this record because I feel like gratitude doesn't always have to only come in the form of verbal communication. Like, just because you say thank you doesn't mean that you're grateful. You know, how many people say thank you when somebody help them and then they go stab them in the back? You know, I'd much rather somebody just keep it real with me. You don't ever have to tell me thank you. You know, if I, whatever, give you a ride or loan you some bread or hop on your album, or share your project or whatever. I don't really need a thank you, bro. Just keep keeping it real with me. Keep doing with yourself and to me what you've done to put me in a position to help you in the first place or assist you in the first place that's all i asked for you know what i mean um and you know we always gonna say it man that's just how we was raised but this is just something that was on my mind like is a thank you really gonna stop me from looking out for my people no it ain't you no know, thanks needed i wrote this record to be like like a breath of fresh air um, to how men talk to women in music nowadays. Like, it's an alternative because I feel like it's disgusting. And we need an example, somebody that can speak to women better with more class and, you know, just not so trifling. And even have women not accept being spoken to like that. Plus, I got a daughter, man. So, grow up. 
Better days. It's about attitude adjustment. I had to make a lot of changes while I was going through my sticky situations. And one of the things that I learned that affected me the most was my attitude. You know, how you think about it is usually how it plays out. There are other determining factors, but if you have a positive attitude and a positive outlook, it's very, very difficult to have a bad day. So, you know, that's what better days are about. You can't you can have better days. It all depends on you and how you view things. So as we transition from the personal to the manifestational side of LOA, uh, give y'all a letter to myself. These are some of the things that I put in my letter to myself, my actual letter to myself. Of course, the letter to myself didn't rhyme. I don't know why I didn't make it rhyme, but it didn't rhyme. And one thing that I advise people to do that I did not do, in which my new letter has, is write a, write a reasonable date, a reasonable time frame for these things to be accomplished. Don't just put it out there. If you just say this what you want, you might get it in 60 years. You might get it in 50 years, you know. But if you put a, a reasonable time frame, it'll be there. You got to work for it, though. That's one thing about it. You can't just say, oh, I want this. Why it ain't coming? Why it ain't coming? You got to you gotta take the steps, too. So meet God halfway. I mentioned before the law of attraction intro and the law of attraction interlude was one track and it's just general law of attraction subject matter you know you know be aware of your surrounding forces you, the company you keep is, is how good you are if, you, if you're the smartest person in the room you're in the wrong room if you're the richest person in the room you're in the wrong room you know what i mean things of that nature like um things that i didn't want to happen they happen because i didn't want them to happen this is law of attraction subject matter and and both the intro and the interlude. But this interlude takes us into the manifestational side. A lot of times when people know your potential and they doubt theirs, they'll tell you what you can't do. I tried that, man. I don't think it's going to work for you. Okay. You tried it. But let me try it. The only way I know it ain't going to work for me is if I quit. Not if I fail the first time. If I quit. That's the only sure shot way I know it's not going to work or if I don't attempt. So you go ahead and hold strong to the fact that you can't do it. I'm going to go ahead and show you how we get it done. Your wish is my command. Many people believe if you rub on a lamp, a genie will pop out and it'll grant you three wishes. I beg to differ. However, I do believe if you think it, you can touch it. If you see it here, you can see it here. I firmly believe that, and I'm standing on that. So scratch out that, that genie in the lamp. Your genie's in your head. It's all in your mind. You know what I mean? Believe in yourself. Believe in you like you believe in that genie in the lamp. One of my goals is to be in my house wherever I decide to have it at, whatever, whatever country or state I decide to have it, have this particular house, to be in my house and to send my family traveling all over the world. Every one of them. That's one of my goals. So that's what I wrote this record for. Fly you away. Fly my mom away, my sisters, my nieces, my aunts, my cousins, my nephews, my great nephews, my great nieces, all of them. Fly y'all away. Where you want to go? Out of the country, cross state, whatever you want to do. Let me know what you want to do. It's on me. That's one of my goals. I'll let you know when I check it off. Wrapping up the project with Got It All because I just feel like that's a proper way to end it. You know, after you speak about everything that you want, now you got it. You got it all. And at the end of the day, I have everything. Uh, all the love for my family and everything that I have up in here. I already got it. Just waiting on me to receive it. That's it. So, let you know when I check those off. And, uh, can't mention this record, even though, you know, I don't have too many visuals for this project, but I can't mention this record without mentioning my nephew who shot the video. So I feel like every time I share that video, every time that video get a play, that's dedicated to him. You know, if I so happen to go viral off that video, I lie to you not, my sister getting all that bread. Because I feel like that's, and my, my great niece and my great nephew. And you know what I mean? I feel like they, they, they deserve all of that. Because had he not took the time from chilling with his pregnant wife or chilling with one of his cousins or his brother or his 
aunt or he could have been chilling with anybody, but he chose to walk around with me while I shot that part of the video. And I keep kicking myself because I didn't do more or get him in it. But, you know, he is it. You know, he created it. So, in a sense, that's more than being in it. Because it had not been for him, you know, it wouldn't be possible. So, fusion, fusion, boy. We love you. We miss you, man. I'm wealthy. I'm healthy. I woke up this morning. They sweating the rest. I see it. I want it. I think it. I have it. I just manifest. I used to be tripping about what I ain't have till I realize I'm blessed. And yes. I'm healthy, I woke up this morning, ain't sweating the rest I see it, I want it, I think it, I have it, I just manifest I used to be tripping about what I ain't have till I realize I'm blessed And yes I know how being poor and piss feel That's why I appreciate this so much, man It was junk food, a lot of skip meals Late fees, tight to miss bills Now I'm waking up with a fridge filled Backyard with a big grill Call the family cause I'm cooking out 40 steaks ain't a big deal Got some chicken greens and some pasta salad Nobody leaving with their stomach growling Tonight I slide, leaving mom in charge Got a move in Dallas for a hundred thousand Coming back with a bank full New whip and a tank full Feeling thankful that I Luxurious endless from humble beginnings Still finished the way I began How I pursued it with focus, maneuver the ocean It's hard to believe that I swam I never strayed from the plan Safe to say struggles what made me a man Moving with faith over fear My posture should show you how bravery stands Remember when months when I ain't take a day off Pulling overtime, not to go behind Dedicated strong will paid off Dead erase bills paid off We ain't leasing nothing, baby, pay it off No layaways, I done made a way Even tuck some for a rainy day Yeah I'm wealthy, I'm healthy, I woke up this morning Ain't sweating the rest I see it, I want it, I think it, I have it I just manifest I used to be tripping about what I ain't have till I realize I'm blessed. And yes, I'm wealthy, I'm healthy. I woke up this morning, ain't sweating the rest. I see it, I want it, I think it, I have it, I just manifest. I used to be tripping about what I ain't have till I realize I'm blessed. And yes, check them out now. This has been another project breakdown. LOA on all digital streaming platforms. Shout out to Wordzilla. Shout out to Addy. Shout out to Dez. Gluehalfter.com. If you knew better, you glue better. Ow! I said I was thugging. I must have been bugging. I was living backwards. The charges and cases and lawyers I paid was the cause of my actions. Law of attraction. I'm teaching law of attraction. Your words and your thoughts plus your actions could lead to horrible madness. You probably thought that we forfeit. I know you hoping we quit. No way. We been on it. We still on it.